Hi, in this demo we are going to see how we will integrate Oracle database services running on Oracle based DB service with full stack TR. I'm Suraj Ramesh, I'm principal product manager at Oracle. So here are the prerequisites and some of the assumptions. So we have two OCI regions, Ashburn is our primary, Phoenix is our standby, and we already created two DB systems and uh, created the data guard configuration as well. So the primary database is running in the Ashburn region. The standby database system is running in the Phoenix region. Uh, we need two object storage buckets, basically one in each region to store the full stack DR logs. And also you need to create a DB sys password as a secret using the OCI vault service. So it has to be created in both regions. So as part of this demo, we will do an initial setup. So we'll create two DRPGs uh, we'll name it as base db iad and base db phoenix in the respective regions and we'll associate base db iad as primary and then base db phoenix as standby and we'll add the database as members the primary db will be added in base db iad and the standby db will be added in base db phoenix so once the members are added then we'll go to the switch over plan so from the standby drpg we will create a switch over plan run the pre-checks for the switchover plan and then we'll execute the switchover plan and verify the DRPGs. And finally, we'll create a failover plan. So from the standby DRPG, which is base DB IED, uh, we will create a failover plan and then we'll run a pre-check for the failover plan and then we'll execute a failover plan and verify. Let's move on to the demo now. Right, so here are my two DB systems. Uh, uh, let me navigate to the Phoenix Ashburn region. So the Ashburn region will be having the primary database, right? So this is the DB system where my primary database is running, which can be verified from the database role association, which is my primary database. Similarly, I will uh, show in the Phoenix region, uh, the database, this is a standby database running in the Phoenix region, uh, which can be verified using the same uh, uh, DB system role in the database data guard association. So you can see here the database is, will be in the standby role here. So now we have both primary database in the standby database in the right role. Now let's move on to the actual uh, DR protection group creation. So uh, I'm in the Ashburn region uh, in the other tab I have uh, the Phoenix region. So let's create the DR protection group. So create DR protection group, give a name base db iad select the compartment uh, select the object storage bucket and then hit create so while it is creating created i will create the dr protection group in the phoenix region as well so give a name base db phoenix compartment object storage bucket and then hit create so while it's getting created, we will try to go ahead and uh, hit associate button. So it's getting created. Let's uh, wait for this come to active. Uh, now it is active. So I'm in the uh, Ashman region. So here, here hit associate, select the role primary and select the peer region, which is Phoenix and select the DR protection group here and hit associate. So it is moving to the state updating. Within few seconds, it will move into the active state and then we will be able to verify the association. So uh, the association has been done. So the I, Ashman region is showing as primary and the Phoenix region is showing as standby. So now let's add the DB members. So I'm going to add my primary database in the Ashman region. So go to the members section, add member, select the resource type as database and click this check mark button. And being this is base database, you have to select the database type as base database and then DB system. This is my DB system running in this compartment and it will automatically the propagate the database home and the database. And finally, we have to provide the uh, sys password, which is created as a secret in the wall service. So I have created my sys password as a secret with this name. So let's add the database here. Make sure you are using the right password so that your switch over operation and failover operation will be completing successfully. Uh, now let's add the standby database member. So go back to the uh, base DB Phoenix region DRPG, go to the member section, add member, select resource type as database, 
click this check mark button and select the base database type and then select the database system where your standby database is running uh, the home and the database will come up automatically and finally select the secret uh, which is for your syspart syspassword so once this is selected hit add so within few minutes uh, this the member will be added so i can see in my primary uh, drpg which is the ashburn the primary database member has been added similarly uh, this is my standby drpg i can see my standby drpg uh, database member has been added so now let's create the switchover plan so as you know all the uh, switchover plan executions will be happening only from the standby drpg so we have to create the plan from the standby drpg so go back to the uh, plan section uh, hit plan so give a name so i'll be giving base db uh, uh, iad to phoenix switch over select the plan type switch over and hit create so within few seconds the switch over plan will be created okay now the plan has been created successfully so uh, so we will build a built in pre checks for the database switch over and finally it shows the switch over plan group as well so now uh, since the plan has been created let's run the pre checks so uh, we can give the pre check name so switch over pre checks iad to phoenix and hit run pre checks so it is showing a skewed status within few seconds it will move into in progress and we'll be able to see the status of the pre check so the switcher is in uh, switcher pre checks is in progress we will monitor the status so we can see the switcher pre checks has been completed successfully so it has been marked as successful so since the pre check is uh, done let's move on to the actual switcher uh, execution so go back to the plan uh, hit execute dr plan you can do the pre checks again if you want you can skip this as well so let's skip this and let's give a name switchover ashburn to phoenix so again uh, the built in plan group uh, has been started so you can see the status is skewed so within few seconds it will into move into the in progress status and we should be able to see the uh, database switchover uh, progression state and uh, we'll be able to see within few minutes it will be able to complete that as well so the switchover uh, of the database is started so you can see that uh, in the log as well so it is showing in progress and you can view the log where the database switchover uh, task has been initiated you can verify that through the db system console as well let's just go back to the uh, ashburn uh, db system go back to the database you can see the database status is being changed updating and there will be a work request created here where you can see the switchover of the data guard has been started. So let's come back in few minutes once the switchover has been completed. So the switchover has completed here. You can see it's moved into succeeded state. You can view the logs if you want. So it took 9 minutes, 12 seconds for completing the switchover. So the overall plan took 10 minutes for completing. So now if you notice the role of the plan group, I mean the DRPG would have also changed. So the Phoenix is primary now the ashburn is the standby now so now the primary database is running in the phoenix and then the ashburn uh, uh, primary i mean dr production group has a standby database so now let's initiate a failover plan so we are in the ashburn dr region where the standby drpg is there so let's go ahead and uh, create a plan here so this will be the failover plan so give a plan name failover from phoenix to ashburn select the plan type and select failover which is the unplanned type so within few seconds the plan will be active now so the plan has been created successfully you can see the plan for the pre-checks and the failover so now let's initiate a run pre-check so give a name Failover run pre checks. So the plan execution 
has been accepted. So it will be in queue state and then it will move into in progress and eventually it completes. So the pre checks is now successful. Let's go and execute the hello plan. Execute the app plan, the default plan name, and then give the plan execution name. Phoenix to Ashwa. So the failover plan execution has been started. In few seconds, it will be started, and we will be able to see the progress of the failover of the database. We can view we can view the status of the failover work request created in the database system. You can go to the database and then click the work request. There is a failover uh, task has been successfully initiated, and now you can verify that failover uh, initiation through the logs as well through the DRPG. So the failover task is being executed now. So the failover of the database uh, task has been completed successfully. So uh, you can you can see it, it shows it succeeded and the time it, it took for the database failover, and we can also verify the DRPG status, right? So uh, IAD which is hash plan has become primary, and then uh, the Phoenix is now standby, right? So with that we have completed uh, the full cycle of uh, creating the DRPGs, uh, adding database members for the database service, BC database service, and then we did a switchover plan and then we did a failover plan. Thanks for watching.